So uh, here we have Don Pate, the famous bass player. Um, and you've played with the CG for a long time now, right? Yes. How long has it been? I never count it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea like what year you guys met? Um, my recollection would be probably sometime in the 70s. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I don't know. And did you guys meet outside of a musical context or did you meet on the bandstand? How did that happen? Well, he uh, referred to me being with Roy Haynes when we met. So it probably means that we were on the same festival or the same stage, probably in different bands. Hmm. But uh, my recollection is that we were friends before we ever played a note. Hmm. And we used to have, you know, uh, astrological conversations. Mm -hmm. I remember going to his house uh, near the Bowery and uh, getting, you know, astrological readings. But uh, seems to me we played together after, you know, many talks. Yeah. Yeah. So what sort of reputation did he have when you met him? And did, is that what you, what you found? Or what was, what was that? <coughs> well, it, it seems to me uh, he probably was with Pharaoh. Uh, when I met him and uh, he just had a, a very strong uh, personality and presence you know on both the the, instrument, the guitar and in the band uh, Tsiji was really stretching you know beyond the instrument yeah. and sitting sitting with him, hanging out, um, dealing with the astrological thing, was all of that, did all of that make sense in a musical context? Did it, did the whole picture make sense or did it feel like there were sort of separate people, one on the bandstand? Well, it, it made sense in that he uh, was very uh, particular about there being good times, bad times, better times, you know, with with various interpretations of planets being in retrograde or, you know, wherever they happen to be. Yeah. Also based upon, uh, he kind of took it beyond the simple social sun sign, you know, that you usually hear mm -hmm. conversation. So, uh, and to me, uh, the, at least personally, I always say my best conversation is with a bass in my hands. Mm. So the music became the conversation like beyond words in a way. Yeah. And so what is that? What's that like with the CG? Mm, well, what it's like is it's, it's ever changing and, and listening and being aware of, you know, what's happening. Uh, both, you know, all around you and, and all in the world. And uh, it's, it's ever-changing. It's, it's never the same. Hmm. Have, you, have you ever played with somebody who plays like Tsiji? Well, probably not uh, guitar-wise. Hmm. Uh, Musically, I like to think, uh, you know, there are a lot of spirits, you know, all around us. And, and some people are, are musicians and some aren't. But the, the nature and the spirit of, of openness and to have the, uh, the ability to utilize everything that's available to you in, in order to, to remain open. Mm -hmm to wherever the journey's going to take you. you yeah. Know? And um, 
a lot of people don't I guess there are a lot of definitions right now of free jazz. Yeah. And it seems like what you guys end up playing and what some people call free means something different than the free jazz that is out there. Oh, yeah, it's totally different. Um, in fact, uh, when he refers to the music as meditation sometime, I think that's, that's more accurate. Yeah. And uh, it's as freeing as meditation is to some people. I, I think to other people, it, it, it locks them up or it puts them in a box. But uh, to be able to meditate and go out of body, I think it's all connected. And so that's know. what's happening in the music? Yeah. Wow. Um, and so why, why the word free? Oh, uh, merely because there's no handcuff or straitjacket or regimen on you must do this and you must do that, mm -hmm. you know. So the to have the, I mean, it, it would be like a painter to have all, all mediums, all forms of and textures available. And, and to utilize them, you know, to say what you want to say. Yeah. Um, and he's written a lot of books, too. Um, yeah. Have you checked any out? Yeah. Uh, how has that, has that influenced you at all? Well, to me, the books are almost his, his syllabus of breaking down some of the things that he does musically. Mm -hmm. And he simplifies it or makes it, uh, I don't know. I, I would say it's almost like the ABCs of someone who has not explored mm -hmm. the other worlds or, or the places that we go. So I find it, you know, pretty much, it, it's almost like uh, if you knew, you know, where you were going, but you didn't have a GPS or you didn't have di directions. Yeah. But you know, you knew, would know when you got there. Mm -hmm. And and you would have vision enough to to take direction in in realizing the path that you want to take. Yeah. You know, yeah, and his it seems like um, he's now relatively well known as a sort of spiritual teacher uh -huh. uh, as well as as a musician, and um, that people come to him for uh, what what they call healing. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel like the music has that function? Oh yeah. Uh, the music is, is totally healing because it, it either captures you or it runs you away. <laughs> 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 and, uh, you know, like one of the pop songs goes, you know, can't hide love, I bet you. So, uh. And I, I think most people, it's it's a it's a case of love or hate, mm -hmm. you know. And for the most part, uh, people either haven't heard it or haven't been exposed to it. Mm -hmm. And many people get captured, like from the their very first exposure to it. And and, and other people, it's it's an acquired taste, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Who do you think needs it? It seems, I mean, you've, you've been around long enough to see people come and go and, you know, really not like it and to be drawn straight in. I, I think it's, it's applicable to everyone because it, it covers anywhere you might want or, or journey to, mm -hmm. you know, in, in the universe, you know, so mm -hmm. I think it's... Uh, it just has logical 
answers, you know, to, to a lot of questions that remain mysteries, you know, to other people who don't know. Yeah. Uh, creativity is, is, well, the way in which the music happens here, mm. it seems like there's a certain different flavor of creativity and like that it might be outside of cultural stuff or um, you know the jazz vocabulary how, how do you feel about just the word creativity as it relates to his music well I think the jazz vocabulary is limited whereas his creativity is unlimited and uh, I think there's rules and regulations, you know, on, on the jazz vocabulary that, that doesn't apply to things that, there's some things that are, are unspoken and, and unsaid that just happen. And to, to be open to those things happening and to have the ability to make some of those things happen mm -hmm. for both uh, yourself and the world hmm. is is very vital. It's very important. Yeah. Um, and so, why did you stick around? Uh, I think the music made me. Uh, I don't know. A combination of, of blessing and adopted uh, in terms of if, if I'm in situation, other musical situations that are not as desirable, mm. my experience with the CG makes it easier mm. for me to continue to focus and forge ahead, forge beyond what's only a temporary state. Mm -hmm. uh, and the permanence of Wherever I go, whatever I do, his uh, example has helped me almost in every way, you know. Hmm. Yeah. What do you, <sighs> what, do you, what makes the CG unique? Because it seems like that's... that's I the only one like him I ever saw or met <laughs> or heard uh, and uh, he's just original you know uh, and very uh, I don't know I want to say he's gifted with sight, you know, beyond, you know, these earthly things, I think. <laughs> yeah, and so to play with him, to play with that type of energy, um, <clears throat> can you, I mean, you've already described it somewhat, but um, I guess how has it changed, how has it changed you? If it has, uh, it's made me tolerant of things that are temporary, huh. and at the same time, it lifts me beyond. You know, you know, people say, "Don't sweat the small things," you know. So when when things are not important or not relevant. There's always something else to to reach for that's that's beyond easy, you know. I mean it's easy to be complacent or to do what someone else does as as opposed to exploring and thinking yourself and outside of yourself you know yeah <clears throat> and you said that um 
you're most clear spoken with a bass in your hands. Um, what, um, what, <laughs> it's a sort of, uh, backwards question, but mm. can you describe what you're saying or what this musical situation can offer somebody if they can hear it, you know, in a new way, like what to listen for? How, how can we listen to this music? What you're saying, what he's saying? Well, to, I don't know, more than you could imagine and dreams come true. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Beautiful. You. Thank you, Hugh.